The day before announcing he'll soon step down as U.S. Energy Secretary, Dr. Stephen Chu made news at the Washington Auto Show. As part of President Obama's EV Everywhere Grand Challenge, Secretary Chu announced 13 major companies are joining forces in the new workplace charging challenge. The idea is that because commuters' cars spend a great deal of time at the workplace, electric vehicle charging stations make a great deal of sense there. But not everyone at the auto show was feeling that electricity. Do, do sometimes you want to take the electric guys and just shake them? And <laughs> well, you know, there's there's room for all these technologies. I think, you know, it, there is a spirited competition, that's for sure. But w what you learn is that um, not everything works for everybody. As head of the Diesel Technology Forum, you'd expect Alan Schaefer to feel somewhat overshadowed by all the buzz surrounding electrified vehicles these days. But you'll see he has a point when you consider diesel's fuel efficiency, cost of ownership, and the fact that today's clean diesel is lower in emissions than gasoline. Take a look at the clean diesel option, which provides at least 30 percent better fuel economy, and long-term um, cost of ownership is as good or better than hybrid technology, as we've seen in recent studies from Carnegie Mellon. Uh, so we know that the diesel can compete for consumers that are willing to invest the time and look at the economics. Led by Ford, General Motors, and Dodge pickups, diesel cars and light-duty trucks currently make up about 3% of the U.S. market. However, clean diesel auto sales grew nearly twice as fast in the U.S. market as all auto sales last year, and over 20 new models are being introduced this year. This ranges from luxury Mercedes and Audi models to an intriguing new entry from Chevrolet. One of the most exciting things this year is coming from General Motors and the Chevrolet division, where in just a few days we'll see the launch of the Chevrolet Cruze Eco-D. This is a, a small uh, diesel engine in an already hugely successful and popular global platform vehicle um, that we expect to do just kill fuel economy, probably 50 miles a gallon or better. Now, we haven't seen any numbers on that, but um, it's going to be a huge, uh, a huge uh, stake in the ground for clean diesel in the U.S. Reporting for Investor Beat from the Washington Auto Show, I'm Motley Fool Analyst Rex Moore.